We've got here the Renogy 1000 Watt Pure Sine Wave Inverter and we're going to go ahead and connect up the cables on this end and show you basically how to do that. So have a look at the input end uh, of the inverter. You'll see that we've got basically these covers and they've got a couple of little uh, pressure tabs in there. If you squeeze on those, these will release and that'll come out like that. And same on the black one. So okay, just a little tab that'll come out and there you have it. And that's released our actual uh, terminals here. Now these, they may need to use a wrench and screwdriver for undoing these, um, or they might be finger tight, Let's see how you go. So minor finger tight. So I'm just gonna loosen off that nut on black, the negative. Go ahead. And we'll connect that one up. So we're basically putting that through our ring there. And we'll do that up. There we go, that's good. All right, and then we're gonna do the same with the positive terminal. Okay, so now let's see what's happening. We'll turn that over. So we've got that little there, which we're screwing into. Basically, you want to ensure that these are firm and that they're not going to come loose or go anywhere. I'm going to tighten this one up a little bit too. All right, so we've got those attached. Now they're nice and firm, that's good. We'll just put these covers back on. So we just want to slot them over the cable. And we can reattach those. And then just put them straight back in. Same on this side. And again, we're just going to put that back in there, and there we go. We've connected our cables up to the inverter, and we're ready to connect that into a battery. So I've now grabbed out my Voltax uh, lithium ion 100 amp hour battery, and we're going to go ahead and connect up the Renogy 1000 watt inverter to the battery. So first things first, uh, we're going to have to remove these. Then we're going to attach the Renogy ones in to it. We're just basically adding our table in. In fact, I'm... And then for the positive, just de-spark that. We'll go ahead and add that one in also. Now, you might be able to see on the front of the inverter that our lights have come on to indicate we now have power here when I switch that on to power. And no errors, that's pretty good. And also switching to remote control. If we plug in our remote control, which that's just going straight into this little socket here, uh, we can now switch the inverter over to use the remote control mode there and then we've now got our remote here that can control our power so switch that on and we've got those lights come up to tell us we've got power and we've got no errors so that's it i hope you found this video helpful be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me bye for now